Hello you lot. It's uh, May the 4th. So uh, obviously the sensible thing to do would be to play a whole bank holiday's worth of Star Wars games, wouldn't it? Uh, but I can't be asked. Everyone's banging on about Star Wars at the moment and I've had enough of it. I love the Star Wars games, the films, games, well, some of the games. But, uh, I don't know, I just spent the last half hour just going, no, I'll play something I want to play and then scrolling through lists of stuff going, I don't want to play that, I don't want to play that, I don't want to play that. But I'm forcing myself to play something because it's better than just sitting on the sofa rotting. Uh, uh, for those who don't know what's going on, um, I've been off work for about eight months now or more, I don't know, I'm losing track of time, um, with what the doctor finally seems to think is epididymitis, which basically feels like a constant kick in the nuts. So uh, I can't really do a great deal of things and uh, everything kind of fallen apart around me. Um, in the meantime, my wife Jules is uh, going through cancer treatment and we're well, all worried about that. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's basically why I've got so much time on my hands and I'm so fed up most of the time. Um, but anyway, yeah, I was going to play some Star Wars games and then I thought, no, screw it, I'll play something I want to play. And it's taken me most of the morning to work out what I want to play. Um, I've gone with Action Biker. Action Biker Clumsy Colin. Mastertronic release. Um, Clumsy Colin was a cartoon character for um, Skips Crisps. I think it was Skips, wasn't it? Yeah. And this came out in, I think it was my last year in junior school. So I was probably about 10, so this is probably about 83, that sort of time. Um, yeah, and some of my mates bought it on their Spectrums and it was a fun game. Uh, so I thought I'd buy it on the Commodore 64 and it was a completely different game. But, uh, yeah, um, let's have a, let's swap joystick, let's see, yes, um, there we go, that is a man on a bike, um, um, I can't seem to turn, no, 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 right, let's swap my joystick again, in case I've got that wrong, no, go back, turn, oh dear, That's increasing the revs. That's pushing. I'm pushing left and it's making me go forwards. That's a bit odd. You had to drive around town picking up parts for your bike before you could go to some race. Um, yeah, left sends me forward. Right. This isn't right. Hmm. <laughs> yes, come on. Space. No, can I get the keys? No, it doesn't look like it. And this is what happens when you start recording, when you haven't checked that everything's working. Uh, oh dear, I'm drifting forwards again. Ah! Well, how come that wasn't working before? Right, I'm going left and right. And is it... Oh, and it's forwards to accelerate, not fire button. Marvellous. Yes, that flashing tombstone, that's something I need to pick up. A crash helmet. Right, makes no difference to what it looks like on the... Uh, you know, I, I'm still a pink blob. Look, and you can go faster and faster and faster and faster and faster, and there's no traffic on the roads whatsoever. It's like a deserted GTA Vice City. But it's full of lots of little tricks and lots of puzzles all around that you've got to try and work out how to get around. I think you can even fill up with fuel, can't you? It's like a whole full world. Yeah, see, as I drive through, fuel fills up. So, so you've got to remember you don't run out of fuel. And look, if I remember correctly, you can go behind things. You don't just smack into the roof. It's proper, proper 3D. I was impressed by that as a kid. You know, prior to that, it'd all been like Space Invaders, everything flat 2D. I didn't even know 2D and 3D back then. So this was, ooh, you can go behind things. And I picked up some riding leathers. Right. And it's a very rural town here. There's some fences and 
and barrels all over the place, and yet there's a racetrack, I don't know, and very tall pollarded trees, no good for climbing those, no low down branches. We've got a mud track leading to a bridge here, let's go down a bit, oh yeah there's a roller coaster as well. Uh, highway code book. Of course, I'm already riding around, but there we go. Look, you can see yourself through the other side. I mean, ground-breaking graphics. Whilst I'm driving around very, very slowly, because I can't remember too much about this, but I remember if you went fast. You didn't really get very far. Um, I think I did eventually cheat to win this game because it just keeps giving you more and more things to collect. And you've got a time limit as well. You've got a time limit and lives and fuel. They don't make them like they used to, do they? Oh, there we go. I've got to get in there. So I've got to get over that wall somewhere. Uh, where was I? I've lost track of myself now already. Yeah, all these things to do. And yeah, it just kept giving you more and more and more things to collect. And I just ran out of time eventually. Um, so I think I had a cheat that gave me infinite uh, time. Um, building site I think this is meant to be. Uh, and eventually, after probably hours and hours, ah, I can now use lower gear to improve acceleration. That will be what the fire button does then, huh? Or, or you could say it's like a three-dimensional kickstart. So, that's our low gear. Oh yeah, that's a bit... How come I'm nippier in low gear? Let's go for a race. Oop, oop. Ah. <laughs> yeah, I should have lined myself up neatly at the start instead of just careering around all over the place. So... Let's have a little burn down the road, shall we? It's a nice sunny day. Low gear. And high gear. I think there's probably a turbocharger to make you go faster. Woo! You can always feel the flies in your teeth. Yeah, so um, I just blew the engine by switching down into uh, low gear. While the revs are still high. It's not quite that accurate. Look, there's a face there in the water with a big jutting out lower lip. Um, oh, what, did I see something flashing out the corner of my eye on the left there? Oh, 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 Whoa, getting a bit slapdash here. So, uh, look, I'm towering, I'm, I'm assuming these are like vending ticket game stalls, that sort of thing, for the fun fair, and I'm towering over them. Let's go up this bit. Oh, no, that was a mistake, wasn't it? Right. You can't reverse. He refuses to backpedal on his bike. Or whatever do bikers do to go backwards. I'm not a biker. I've got a leather jacket. But then I guess most old goths do. Oh, I think there might have been a, fuel, a larger fuel tank as well. So you get, you get more in your tank. I'm, I'm surprised there wasn't money involved as well, just to really make things difficult. Having, having to make you earn money so you can buy the fuel to keep you going. Uh, yeah, I'm not quite sure where the um, skips element comes into this, really, other than it's a bloke on a bike. I think it was originally just called Action Biker, and Master Drive went, well, we'll slap this license on it then, shall we? Because uh, it makes no mention of skips. The crisp that melts. Uh, in the game itself. Oh look, there's a crane. I mean, who needs GTA? You don't know. You don't get the police trying to arrest you for stuff because you've got bored and started running people. Or oh, someone's just jumped in front of your car or something like that. So you can just poodle around. Okay, so it doesn't have the soundtrack of GTA either. But hey, you can play your own music in the background. Or you could have had the music playing. But I think I'm. I must have accidentally switched it off on this. After a while it does tend to grate anyway. It's a good tune, but it's another one of those ones... Was that a flashing thing up there? It's another one of those ones that probably drove my mum nuts when I had it on the uh, TV in the living room until we got a portable TV. My sister and I saved up for a portable. Out of our Christmas money and things, and we got 
custom Philips portable with an RGB in. It was a separate one. You didn't have to tune it into channel 37. I think it was basically a precursor to SCART. So that was fancy. We still had all the buttons for all the channels on it, but it also had an extra cable into the back, something like a six-pin DIN or something like that. And you push a button on the back and it would turn into monitor mode. That was kind of cool. No. Yes. Gloves. Marvellous. Don't want to get chapped fingers, do I? And shall we go for a ride on the roller coaster? Let's go for a ride on the roller coaster. Wee and down and along and up. Isn't it marvellous? Rooting around on the, and let's see if I can jump off, shall we? Yay! Wow, that was a bit close again. Yeah, you can go all the way around the roller coaster, but I thought it'd be more fun to get off there and see if you can jump off and land. And you can. Oh, and your headlamp. Yes, I've been riding around without a headlamp. Surprised they didn't do a night mode as well then. Uh, so Am I driving around like a Volvo driver with my headlights on now, and even though it's daytime? Who knows? Uh, either way, this is more fun than Star Wars, isn't it? George Lucas hasn't stuffed this up for a start. So, I don't know. Are there going to be Star Wars fans with howls of derision at me going, meh, about Star Wars? I used to love Star Wars. I was a kid. And then they ruined it, didn't they? Uh, Elder Son still loves Star Wars to the point of spending silly amounts of money on Star Wars figures. Uh, and he did used to spend an awful lot of time in Star Wars Galaxies. But then he got a job. Uh, so now he's got money to spend on Star Wars figures instead. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. Just mm, Especially now with the uh, May the 4th and everyone banging on about it all the time. Uh, I mean, I've got a bunch of Star Wars games. I've got Star Wars Demolition, which is terrible. Um, Star Wars Clone Wars on Dreamcast, which I honestly don't remember anything about. But hey, it's Clone Wars, I mean. And we've also got there down now. Uh, Rebel Strike, Rogue Squadron 3, 2, Rogue Leader. Lots of Rogue stuff. Um, I think I had Pod Racer on the N64, Shadows of the Empire, but you know they're all kind of yeah. Some of them are fun. Yeah, I mean the Road Leaders that sort of thing, but you're not in the mood for it there. And some of them are really quite bad. I mean Star Wars Demolition, probably right up there with Masters of Terrace Cassie on the PS1, isn't it? I can't see a flashing thing. I haven't seen a flashing thing for a while, and I'm running out of fuel, so I better go and fuel up. Da, 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 da. And away we go. Put a tiger in the tank. Yeah, I think this is kind of what I needed to play today. Just sort of pootling about. Nice greenery, nice scenery, and you just bumble around the place. Or bimble around the place, as I believe um, I heard uh, Steve Benway say on the uh, Friday talk. Let's see if I can nip between there. Hey! I can drive between some posts. I don't know whether those percentage signs are bits of grass you can crash into or no, no, it's just a bit of just a bit of mud, you're okay. I'm gonna try it with the barrels. That's a bit. <coughs> Although that was a cough rather than a sneeze. On top of everything else, Jules has a cold. So we really are all fun and games around here. Oh yeah, there was an island in there, wasn't there? Yeah, there's an island in the middle of the lake. See, there's lots of things to explore and to find out. Look around you. I think there was, was there a ramp or something? I suspect I probably needed to have the high-low gear in order to... Um, there's a ramp there. You're probably dead keen for me to try a ramp and slam into a fence, aren't you? Oh, well, I've buggered that, haven't I? Ooh! Thought I'd buggered it, but no.
We. We. Flawless. Let's do a quick lap to show off. We. Oh yeah, that's eating up my fuel, isn't it? Uh, where's the pe petrol station? Petrol station. I say petrol station. Other people around here say garage. I found a petrol station, you posh git. Bloody garage, isn't it? No, because they're not fixing cars there. They are selling petrol. And bread. To people for their bread guns. Queuing with the murderers. Watched some Eddie Izzard last night. Haven't watched Eddie Izzard for quite a while. Um, always good fun. Oh, I do shout out if you uh, see anything. <laughs> I'm beginning to think this is, it's a bit like, um, what? What happened there? What? But, but, there was nothing on the road. Bonus hit, oh, right, I've got to do it before the bonus hit zero, as well as the time I've been, before the, oh, bloody hell. Anyway, yeah, as I was thinking, it's a bit like Crackdown on the um, Xbox 360. I mean, I know it's not really, but it's got that same sort of exploring a city, little hidden orbs all over, oh, hidden orbs, bloody hell. They really kick my OCD in. Just, ah, oh, must find them. Where's that wobbling sound coming from? Uh, Crackdown 2, still kind of fun, but felt like a smaller game, oddly. Uh, right, just as I look away, oh, I looked away from the screen a minute, look back and go, oh, I've driven past it, right. It's a bit odd how they all look like tombstones. Why, why, why they did that, I do not know. Petrol gauge. Yes, could that fuel gauge there was obviously just for show? Ah. I don't know. It makes you wonder whether he's building a whole new bike. Does this mean I can fill up more? Then you get to learn your way around town as well. By playing a man in pink leathers. No, I still can't go and get any more in the tank then. You try bumping it up and down a bit, but... Oh no, it's not a car, is it? Remember the days of trying to get as much petrol into the car as you could? Once the petrol hose goes clunk, you go, right, okay, and you shake the car a bit by putting your foot on the bump. Or maybe that was just me and my dad, I don't know. You know, get those last few air bubbles up to the top of the tank and then you can top it up a bit further and then you fill to the brim. Uh, I struggle to put a fiver in the tank these days. But then I'm hardly driving anywhere these days either. Uh, uh, in places we ever drive to, occasionally to the supermarket when I'm up to it. And uh, to various hospitals for different appointments for myself and girls. Uh, dee 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 dee. Nothing around here, is there? Oh, balls. I thought I was just get, getting past that, but I just clipped it. Oh, well. That's actually... Oh, look. Sad tune. Very classical music back in the day, wasn't it? I mean, I know that's not really classic, but yeah, it had that feel to it. Nothing with a beat, I suppose. Yeah, action biker, clumsy Colin, Mastertronic, skips. Um, probably very boring to watch, so, um, sorry if you weren't entertained, but hey, I suppose you could have flicked off it by now, couldn't you? Um, yeah, kind of fun poodling about. Um, I think I'll have to try, try and find another nice little quiet game. Something for just ambling around in. Nothing too frantic. Uh, anyway. Happy Star Wars Day. Oh yes, and it's uh, National Free Comic Book Day, or whatever the acronym is for that. So, uh, but there we go. Hope you enjoyed. See you again.